Okay, welcome guys, I'm CJ from CJ Carpentry. I'm here at Beyond Tools headquarters in Malaga, out in WA, uh, the sleepy old town. Um, we're here today and I'm gonna demonstrate a few processes of shooting in a door using the Viraprotex products. So today we're gonna to be using a Viratex trimmer. Um, we're also going to use the Viratex planer and sander. We have one of these for a giveaway as well, so um, you can follow on to Instagram, etc., for how to win one of those. And um, we're also gonna use a trim saw as well at some point today. Uh, so first off, I'll go into it. We'll do the three. Um, on a larger door, on a slightly smaller door, we'll do two. Um, we'll come back to that one in a second. Then what we'll do is I'll just demonstrate the planer. So if you've got to take off, so this is the perfect tool for using that one. I'll demonstrate from this way, just so that the, um, Plain chips will fire this way. Now normally we'd be using dust extraction, but just for the um, for the slow-mo credits, we're gonna try and get some decent shots here. That's a beautiful finish with the uh, Viratex planer. So with this particular sand uh, planer, it's also a sander. Now remember, if you're gonna change it out for the drum, just to um, disconnect that one from the power. And with this one, it's just a simple action of a couple of grub screws. Undo these. And then to change over from the planer cutter, we'll take off the safety guard. Remember, as I said before, always make sure the tool's unplugged. There's a grub screw in here, so we'll undo that one. And then slide out the spiral cutter. And then we can slide in the sanding pad. So we can lock that one back in. And then that one's ready to go with the sanding, so. I'll just adjust the depth on this one out, just to take a light pass. And then ears back in. Safety's on. With this one, it's basically just taking a nice, nice sanding finish to the door. You can adjust that with the depth, similarly as you can with the with the router. Oh, sorry, with the with the planing head. And the beautiful feature with the planer is you can you can stop on the on the workpiece and then go back to it with the large base plate on the front. Gives you a nice bit of stability. And then at that point, when you're standing your doors, you'd just be running the edge with a nice block plane, just to give it that light little round over. And that gives you the beautiful finish for the door. The other processes for the door would be trimming the head. So we can trim the head using the um, Viratex rail saw. The golden rule is six and nine. So that's 150 in millimetres, 150 down from the head, and approximately 228 up, or exactly 228 up from the bottom of the door. And then centering off your centre position hinge, or if you're working with steel frames uh, where they're pre-hinged, you'd go to the, um, the preset hinge alignments, strike those through. Let's say we're gonna pop one in the middle there, and then one at the bottom. Then be resetting the hinges in. Just 
just like to score my hinges just with a, a sharp blade. Just ensures that when you've got the um, when you've got the trim router running to it, give you a nice even breakout to the line that you um, want your hinge to sit to. So into those positions, and then yeah, trim those sections out. So we're on to the hinges. Uh, I've already marked this hinge here, pre-set out with a um, just a leaf hinge. Um, and then yeah, we'll route that one in. Just remember, always wear your safety protection, so ears and eyes. That is the Viratex corner chisel. Clean out a little bit with a sharp knife. And usually in the process. So when you're when you're shooting in your doors. Ordinarily, you'd mark your head or you'd mark your bottom. You'd have your um, your margin that you need to take off um, to get your get your door set to the openings. And then, with the Viratex rail, we can line that one up with the splinter guard, which is going to give us an exact cut for the line that we need. We're using the Viratex plunge saw with the dust extraction combined, and we're going to go ahead and make that cut. every good chip you'll know you're always going to hit your fair share of pins and we seem to found one there so it must be a normal day so a new blade <laughs> So as you can see, it's taken back to our pencil line. It's given us a perfect line on the edge of the, um, on the rail with the saw. And then you can just knock that edge off with a block plane. Give you a good edge for the door. One of the other key features of the Viratex dust extraction is it's M-class filtration. So it's um, market leading. Well, certainly look after your lungs while you're working with it. And the um, shaker dust extraction. So with that, it's uh, self-clean as well. So. As you can see on that demonstration, it's a beautiful finish and um, zero dust. So that dust extraction is working itself to its uh, proving it's well worth. So through today's demonstration, we've had the door held in the uh, Viratex SPR 770T. It's the clamping system which can hold from 6mm to 110mm through the adjustable wings here. And once your door's dropped in, you've then got foot pedal release and also stabilizers on the back. So as that one drops down, we can slide our door, lock that one in. Then we've basically got full control to wheel your movement of the door. And then I'll move this one around just to give us a close up. But we've got foot pedal release, so that will lift it up and that actually releases it from the jaws. And then drop back down, that will lock back in. So, for ease and manoeuvrability and for uh, loosening up anything you've got clamped in the jaws. 
So once you've finished every, everything that you're doing with working on the door, you can then centralise it into the jaws and then wheel it off to the job or to the opening. All the tools that we've used today will be available on the website, which is viratex.com.au. Um, I strongly recommend you go and have a look at that for the product listings. Um, also, if you find your local stockist on the website, you can pop in and visit and um, maybe have a little play in store as well. So myself and Beyond Tools have teamed up. We're actually giving away one of the planar sanders, which we've demonstrated today. Uh, you can find the links on the Instagram, which is at Beyond Tools and at CJ underscore Carpentry. Um, so go check that out. And I've also got a bonus one of these to give away. So there will be a second one. Uh, so keep looking out for that and good luck. Okay, well, I just want to thank Beyond Tools for having me here today to do the Viratex demonstration. And um, if you want to follow any of the projects that I do um, or past or future projects, then you can follow me on Instagram at CJ underscore Carpentry. And also while you're there, go and chuck Beyond Tools a follow and uh, check out some of their products online.